business partners to one of Sante Barley's farms that grows organic barley grass. We are here in New Zealand to visit not just the farms but also our Sante New Zealand manufacturing plant. We are committed to provide the best quality products for you in order for us to achieve our mission which is helping people live better lives. Good morning Sante partners and business owners. We are here standing on the green green grass of an organic barley farm. This is where your organic barley grass comes from. Our business is only as good as the product that we carry. I've always believed that we should carry the best product to offer the global market. We have established Sante as a company that markets the best organic barley grass. So if it's Sante, then that means you're having the best organic barley grass in the country. And if it's barley, for you to have the best, it must be Sante. right now and this is the perfect time to harvest our Sante barley grass. Good morning ladies and gentlemen, this is Joey Marcello. I'm the CEO of Sante International and we'd like to welcome you all to Canterbury, New Zealand and the home of Sante barley. product that will be at par to the best products in the world and of course we need to understand the preparation from the time that the soil is being prepared up to the time that the barley grass is being harvested and being ready for production and of course there's no better person to share to us the process involved in preparation of everything before we plant barley grass than to have the best organic farmer in New Zealand right now so let's welcome let's hear a few words from the man behind the scenes he is the man in charge of handling our Sante Barley Farm here in New Zealand. Let's welcome Sir Tim Chamberlain. So what we're wanting is the soil that's nice and fine to plant into. So when the seeds go in there, the roots can make their way down. The moisture is um, just right. There's plenty of worms in here. Okay. Good organic matter. Actually, the soil's in a really nice condition. Crops about three or four weeks away from harvesting, and so what we use is traditional cultivation. So we use ploughs and some rotary tillage machines, um, air seeder drills that pr uh, plant in, in a very accurate kilograms per hectare of the seed, and then we do after cultivation we do some. Uh, tine weeding just to take out these smaller weeds. These these other plants here are in a population not going to cause any issue with the with the um, the leaf crop. But if we don't protect or do some cultivation, we can have some competition with the leaf. So we're not just getting straight leaf. So the seeds see have the roots going down, the shoots coming up, and you can still see the remainder of what was the seed we planted a month ago just there and so just before the seed sends a shoot out of the ground we often come across with a machine called a tine weeder just to take out any of this very small germinating weeds and then the uh, seed uh, the shoot comes out into uh, a weed free situation on the paddock and then it's then it grow, uh, basically grows and um, we roll it flat just so we can get a nice even surface for the harvester to come and take the uh, leaf off and then we irrigate it. 
Just make sure it's got enough water. So my name is Tim Chamberlain. I'm an organic farmer and I live in New Zealand, just 50 kilometres south of Christchurch. I've been an organic farmer for 30 years and we've been growing barley grass for about 20 years. And uh, it's my privilege and pleasure to be growing for Sante. So after harvesting our organic barley grass, it will just take a few minutes for our harvester to deliver the barley in our manufacturing facility. What we did recently is to develop a manufacturing facility just besides our organic barley farm. Why? Simply because we want to maintain the freshness in our barley grass. And let me invite one of our partners in our manufacturing facility to discuss to us the process involved in harvesting the barley until such time that the barley is being prepared for production and drying before it will be shipped to different countries for final toll manufacturing. So let's welcome one of our partners in New Zealand, Mr. Mark Hillier. As we harvest this, it, it, we'll, we'll cut it. It'll be a wee bit longer than this. It takes, um, this will be ready three to four weeks time. Um, it'll probably be this long and it'll be taken back to the dryer. Um, where it goes uh, onto the first hopper and then second hopper and feeds into the dryer. Um, it goes onto the drying belt um, about one, uh, so one uh, 115 to 125 millimeters deep um, and agitated through the dryer, which is uh, 52 meters long um, and 2.2 meters wide. Um, and then the process after that is this is uh, dried and tested to be dry um, and goes through a chopper which chops it up and then through a primary mill, rough mill and then through the main fine mill and then classified and there's loads of processes after that fact uh, if there's any impurities in it from a um, weed point of view um, that, that will come out and um, yeah, change the, the, the powder. How will you know if the barley is already ready for harvesting? Um, so we try and cut, we, obviously we just want the leaf um, and minimal stalks. So as the, as the first node comes up, we'll, we're, we're cutting just above the first node. So we don't get any stalk. We, we may get rolled leaves. Um, so we may, get, we may get rolled leaves. That's, a, that's where the leaf is, is rolled up. Okay. And that's not stem, that's just rolled leaves. The, the, there's been a substantial improvement in, in the greenness quality of the product since we've been harvesting and drying on that dryer. And there's, there's probably a few things uh, that, that contribute to that, but probably, we think probably the main thing is it goes from here to there in the matter of minutes. Oh, the guys have done an incredible job to get to that operation uh, operation going there and they're still working on refining the process all the time. Once uh, the barley has been harvested and it has gone through the processing uh, of uh, being dried and then being milled, it is put into 20 kilogram uh, cartons and uh, actually into uh, food grade liners inside 20 kilogram cartons. Um, then it is uh, stored at the uh, warehouse and then we go through a process of uh, getting, it getting it certified to be uh, exported overseas. Uh, we get an organic certification uh, for it and um, then we prepare it so that it is uh, shipped uh, and gets to its final de destination uh, in very good condition. Um, uh, there's quite a lot of work in doing this, there's quite a lot of work in making sure that the uh, sh shipping is uh, in good time for our partners uh, at Santa International, um, but we think that we are able to deliver uh, on time uh, when it's needed anywhere around the world. I'm Peter Hope and I'm a director of uh, Santa New Zealand Limited and I'm on grass. So there you have it partners, the production process of your organically certified Sante barley grass. Your company, Sante New Zealand Limited, in partnership with Sante International, have already prepared the infrastructure to bring your business up to the global market. 
true to our words, we will continuously innovate and develop products and programs that will empower our partners worldwide. The vision and mission is so simple, to help people live better lives. And that's the reason why Sandy International was founded. I'm your CEO, Joey Marcello. I'm right now here in our partner, New Zealand, and I'm impressed.